word I want to just bring to our hearts, as impress on our hearts, is this the unusual and the unexpected. I just believe that God wants to bring that message to you. Whoever you are, wherever you're listening, wherever you're watching, I want to just release this word for you that the unexpected, that the unusual and the unexpected is about to happen in your life. God is about to do that for you. There are times in our lives when people might speak about certain things in our lives and say, look, you don't qualify. You don't fit here. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. You're rejected. You know, it's not supposed to happen. Normally speaking, this is not the way it's supposed to work. You're not supposed to be there. You're not qualified for it. But this is the Lord's doing. He's going to cause the unusual. He's going to cause the unexpected to happen. The God of the Bible is the God of today. You know, the God who worked the works that he did in the Bible, he will still work the same works in our lives today. He works the unusual. He works the unexpected. The, the miracle may not take place in the same man, but such miracles still happen. And God is waiting to do the miraculous, the unusual and the unexpected in your life. And that's the word I want to bring to us today. And we are going to believe God for such unusual and unexpected things to happen. The word I want to release, and there are some of you who just need to hear this. You have started a work and your work, like the work of the temple, has for some reason got stuck. It's stagnant. It stopped. It's been hindered. There's a mountain there that obstructed your work. But today, the word of God is coming to you. The anointing of God is coming to you to make your mountain a plain. And you who laid the foundation of that work, you will also lay the finishing stone for that work. You will not turn away from that work, leaving that work unfinished. You will not have to leave that work and say, this is all that God has for me. No, God is telling you that you who laid the foundation stone, you will also lay the finishing stone. God is telling you that this is not by might, it's not by power, it's not because you've got some human person backing you up, it's not because you've got some funding coming your way, but you've got the Holy Spirit coming your way and He will move this mountain, He will make it a plain and you who laid the foundation, God is telling you by His Spirit that you will lay the finishing stone and you will see the work completed. God will do the unusual and the unexpected to make sure that you finish this work, that you see this work brought to completion. You see whatever you put your hands to come to pass. God by His Holy Spirit will make sure that the unusual and the unexpected happens, that the mountain becomes a plain so that this work can be completed and somebody, you need to hear that, you need to receive it, and you say, God, that's for me. I am going to see this work completed. You know, you may have been in sickness, in oppression, uh, in a chronic condition. Uh, the doctors may have said, we can't do anything for you. You probably have given up hope yourself, but I'm sending the word your way, the word that says the unusual and the unexpected will happen to you today by the Holy Spirit. God, the God of the Bible, is the God of today. And He will not fail you. He will not hold back His good things from you. The Bible says the Lord God is a sun and a shield. He will give grace and glory. And no good thing will He withhold from those who walk uprightly. This is Psalm 84, verse 11. God is not wanting. God is not seeking to hold good things back from you. He is ready to release the unusual, the unexpected. Would you open up your heart and say, God, I want to receive the unusual, the unexpected in my life. Whether it's the healing of your body, whether it's the healing of your sickness or disease, whether it's a turning around of a situation, in your life, your career, your job, your academics, whatever it might be. You say, God, I want the unusual. I want the unexpected to happen in my life.